What's up? How are you guys today? Better mention the ground beef pillow, which is actually roses that you guys talk about every single time I'm sitting on this couch. Uh, but we haven't done a Q&A in a while, so I'm looking forward to answering some questions for you guys, starting with Kathy. How would you rate your overall health these days? How has your outlook on the ideal human diet changed since starting your channel? I remember you were big into eating meat when I first came across your content. Uh, so I had similar ideas back then to now. Obviously, a few things changing. But the reason I was carnivore in the first place was because I couldn't actually eat anything besides meat. But now that I'm getting better, I can pretty much tolerate a normal diet. NYC Exposed, will you add other raw dairy products besides cheese, butter, and so on to your websites in the near future? I remember you briefly spoke about it in a video. Uh, so it took us a while to get the eggs and I'm still working on the dairy. <laughs> Hopefully I get everything up and running before I uh, give up and join the Russia-Ukraine war to find a lovely uh, Russian or Ukrainian wife. Carnivore Dragon, what are your favorite fruits and why? Uh, so I only really eat apples. I guess pears are okay too. Maybe pineapple once in a while, at least from a health perspective. If we're talking about taste, uh, that's completely different, but you know, apples can be very versatile, whether you're just eating an apple on its own, making apple pie, applesauce, all different stuff. Jeff bro, is it possible to grow even taller after 21? I say this because I grew an inch, was 5 foot 9 all the way up to 25, and now at 26, I'm 5 foot 10 on the dot barefoot. So I have heard about this happening to small degrees, you know, these guys aren't really growing crazy amounts as they get older. I'm assuming if it was possible you have to really detox your liver and remove all the negatives. So uh, maybe in a few years, we'll figure out if Frankie Boy will actually get uh, some decent looking girls. Meowth, what is your opinion on raw milk whey as a probiotic? So I'm, I'm not going to read this whole thing. It's not that concentrated. It's very, very low in minerals and vitamins. And I think whey should either be fed to animals or spray dried into whey protein, which is somewhat acceptable. Nick. Have you also experienced light heart ache taking cow and clay or other binders? It miraculously clears my acne, but that symptom is a bit scary. Uh, sounds like there might be some metals in the clay, uh, but are you reacting to the clay on its own or after you have it in the meal? It's, it's hard to say. Usually, uh, cow and clay is a band-aid to underlying gut issues and you actually need probiotics. Exothermic. Could you briefly go over the best nutrients foods that can help recover tendinopathy issues? Okay, so the answer to this is going to apply to several other questions related to diseases that we're going to be answering today. You need to address all aspects of the diet and lifestyle, going organic, reducing Wi-Fi EMF, supplementing deficient nutrients, and then maybe some specific nuances to that disease. Uh, like in this case, having extra collagen bone broth every day, not straining that specific area you're having the tendon issues with, getting plenty of sleep and physical rest. Uh, we do have the collagen broth available on Frankie's Strange Meat, and I'm always wearing my Wi-Fi shielding protective clothing. Robert Pisano, what would you describe a healthy and balanced meal for a Siberian Husky based off your knowledge and what you offer from Frankie's Strange Meats? Uh, so we just started the pet food this week, but the human stuff applies to animals as well. You want the highest quality foods possible. So regardless of what the composition of the pet food is, it would be more important that the beef is grass-fed or the chickens, corn and soy fruit pasture-raised. Over bet 56, how do you maximize the alcohol content in a water key for fermentation? Well, I usually want the opposite because more alcohol means less bacteria and the more powerful the probiotic is, the better you feel. So this is not something I would do, but you just add more sugar and ferment it for longer. Voluntaryism is the answer. How's Gina and would she like to do a QA and a too? Everyone loves Gina. <laughs> she would definitely love to do a QA. and a I'll have to ask uh, her parents if they're okay with that. Sarah S. Do psychological trauma and emotional stress have any role in causing diseases in human beings? Uh, so before I had you know, the issues with the business and my personal family issues and all this harassment, I, I wouldn't have given as much consideration to it. But if it's really, really bad, you, know, you, you stop eating... You don't sleep, you don't exercise, and it's kind of like a catalyst uh, for ruining other things. So whenever you're dealing with stress, you have to try to be mindful of maintaining normal, healthy lifestyle habits. 
Uh, another question from Jeff. Bro. Also, how are you dealing with H. pylori? I've had this issue for the past five years and protocols help, but nothing truly helps. Do you think it's wise to go on antibiotics since a lot of people online cured themselves from it through antibiotics? Uh, so using masticum, water key for probiotics should keep the H. pylori at bay. However, until the underlying issue is resolved, liver damage, for instance, if you stop the protocols or deviate from them, the H. pylori will come back. And the reason that antibiotics sometimes cure it is because their underlying issues were not that bad. There was maybe something unusual that caused the outbreak, like drinking too much alcohol. Nick, what's the best tip for histamine intolerance? I've watched doers and countless other videos on the subject and have been supplementing copper now for months. My B vitamins are still in check along with magnesium and most of my other minerals, but I still seem to get horrible issues with it. Any chance showering in the garbage, unfiltered Long Island water has to do with it? Thanks, Ricky. Uh, most likely not, you know, the water you're showering in. And copper supplemented for more than a few weeks at a time will cause more harm than good. I would look into using water key for water key for grains as a probiotic, following a diet more similar to mine where the protein's lower because protein can cause a lot of histamine reactions, lots of fiber for gut motility, and making sure you're feeding that probiotic with plenty of carbohydrates. Jordan Rogan, is magnesium supplementation enough to counteract the effects of drinking raw milk every day? Uh, no, it's not, and I would definitely stop all dairy and eggs if you have any sort of health issues. Leprechaun, tips for maximum height growth during teenage years. What is the maximum age a male can stop growing? Pretty ironic name. Uh, so you want to get a lot of sun, eat plenty of meat, and maximum height depends on your developmental nutritional status, mainly liver function and fat soluble vitamin balance. Uh, so you definitely want to be outside, get a lot of sun, take some K2 as well. For someone looking to gain weight and muscle, would you recommend your current diet more protein? I mean, overdoing protein is something that basically every single bodybuilder does. It's not really that necessary to have a crazy amount. It's more about the routine. So we do have the maximum volume hypertrophy course available on frank-stefano.com. Alex Cruz, my wife has started suffering from joint pain. What food supplements do you recommend? Uh, so same answer to that question about tendinopathy. After you address all those diet and lifestyle factors and are following a minimally inflammatory diet, maybe some more collagen broth in this case. The amino acids will help uh, heal, the, heal the tissue faster. Uh, Gabra GH, safest cookware for cooking eggs with since most of the safe ones stick to the food. Uh, I've been using the green pan lately and as long as it's low heat, it should be fine. Four sun at blue, I have been taking carnivore digestive enzymes and it helps, but why don't pancreas releasing enough enzymes itself besides high EMF do I have to take it constantly? Uh, so all your organs will dysfunction if they have a high enough toxic load, whether it's uh, metals or altered vitamin ratios or the EMF levels are too high. And just like protein is bad for histamine intolerance, it's also very bad for uh, digestive stress because the body can only produce so many enzymes and they're just gonna kinda sit there in your stomach whereas something like carbohydrates or balancing with more fat, your body will produce those enzymes as well. But specifically the carbohydrates, the probiotics will be able to eat and digest those and it'll be a lot healthier on your body. So definitely stop the carnivore diet. BTTR edits, quick tips, steps to lower blood pressure naturally without nutrition instead of treating symptoms with uh, medication. Uh, so I did this with my mother just by going organic, the lifestyle stuff, all I mentioned will fix the blood pressure issues, uh, especially reducing the EMF. But specifically to this case, if you want to accelerate it, you know, reducing the sodium, taking magnesium, vitamin K2, outside exercising, plenty of sun, those are going to help a lot with blood pressure. El Nino Kodak, is drinking tap water the best form of birth control? Yeah, that combined with the vegan diet and EMF. But it is kind of crazy how women are still able to give birth under modern lifestyle conditions. I guess half the kids aren't coming out uh, so well now, though. Average Joe, are any root vegetables okay to eat? Edit, mainly asking about sweet potatoes. So I'm not a fan of sweet potatoes, uh, but there are so many good foods to kind of go over that you guys have probably seen in my uh, recent day of eatings. I mean, I eat onions, russet potatoes, garlic. Uh, I think someone asked about other vegetables in general later. Yes, I'm hacking. Can you address how to remove parasites from your body, please? I've heard of herbs that help with this. What do you think? 
So when your health starts deteriorating, you'll generally get fungal infections like candida first. And then if that gets worse and worse and worse and doesn't get fixed, then the parasites will come, which are actually like kind of natural protective measures for your body to remove the toxins. So you need to change your diet, take probiotics, fix the underlying issue because uh, the parasites or fungal infection will always come back regardless of how much oregano oil you drink or how many antibiotics you take. Jabril, any thoughts on smoked foods having carcinogens? So a lot of food is excessively smoked, which doesn't really digest well, especially like barbecue spots and brisket. But the smoked meats we have in the beef and pork shirt on Frankie's syringe meat are lightly smoked. Uh, so I've noticed I can eat those without issues. But like when I have those Amish people just smoke them like they normally do, like a long time, it's, it's a little bit hard uh, from a histamine perspective on the body. A, do you still recommend a carnivore diet? If not, how so? And in what cases would you recommend it? Are you considering going back to it once your liver fully recovers? Uh, so there's no circumstance where someone should be carnivore unless you're going to dinner at a steakhouse. You know, I really should have uh, seen the red flags on the writing on the wall years ago when uh, I was unable to eat anything besides meat. And at no point in time was the carnivore diet allowing me to eat other foods and tolerate other foods better. So that's a sign that, you know, your liver is getting worse. And now that I understand how to fix it, I'm more comfortable recommending a higher starch, high gut motility diet. AW, would you homeschool your kids if you had any? Possibly, but the elite of the elite do have like private schools and very expensive stuff if you have a pretty penny to spend. AW, how to deal with high DHEA levels and how to raise low cortisol levels issues with hypothyroidism. As I've said several times now, you have to address all the lifestyle factors and things generally correct themselves. Um, the one that's overlooked the most is the, the EMF, the Wi-Fi reduction. I would make sure that you know, you're not having halogens and you're drinking water like fluoride or chlorine and maybe taking some vitamin C ascorbic acid can help uh, with your organ function on that. Porch turrets, how come you barely eat any cheeses? Uh, so they're high in calcium, they're bad for gut motility, liver detox. Maybe once I have my own farm, we can do some special animal feed and have a hypoallergenic cheese, but who knows if that's going to happen. Ryan Hartley, are the eggs that are washed with soap and chemicals to clean the shells bad? Do those chemicals end up in the egg? This is irrelevant because if you're actually getting high quality eggs from a farm, they're not going to be washed with chemicals anyway. And I would worry more about those store-bought eggs being poisoned in general. I mean, yeah, the chemicals being uh, used to wash the eggs are probably leaching into them to some degree, but you know, like, like the eggs are poison in the first place. Jordan Rogan, why do you not react from eating plant foods? Because the diet protocol I have to heal my liver has been working and I've been getting a lot better over these past two years. Peter Parker, I prefer live Q&A's Big Dog. Yeah, it's, it's been a while now. Uh, probably almost three years since we stopped. So uh, when I, I took a break for a month to get the titanium plates removed from my jaw surgery, and we lost like half our viewer base, you know, just by not being consistent. So I kind of got discouraged and just stopped doing the live streams in general. Jordan Rogan, opinion on meat and fruit diet. Uh, so I've seen this become more and more popular lately. I've seen a few TikToks about it actually, which means it's kind of mainstream. Uh, probably because there's a few distasteful characters uh, grifting on a Jonas Vonderplanet's raw primal diet. But I, I think meat and fruit is even worse for your liver than pure carnivore. I'm surprised these people are able to follow that diet for even a few weeks at a time. God help my pronunciation on this one. Fruj Gebrizgi. <laughs> Fruj Gebrizgi. Most minimally inflammatory vegetables. Uh, so what I've been eating in day of eatings over the past few months... White russet potatoes, cauliflower mushrooms, those, those are excellent. I like those a lot. Onions, eggplant, garlic are probably okay. Same with artichokes. Igor like, when will we see the day of eating an American McDonald's diet? I mean, we kind of gave up on the best burger reviews channel, but uh, we did try all of the fast food places if you guys want to see me eat some crap. John Sergi. Best macronutrients and food profiles to stay under 15% body fat. Uh, so if you're eating all organic and you just don't eat refined foods 
like just sticking to whole grains and meat. You know, don't be making pancakes and cookies and white bread like you see me doing. You'll be very lean if you avoid the refined stuff. How to make yogurt from raw milk. I have a video on this. Just search Frank Tefano yogurt. I just add some yogurt to the raw milk and let it sit overnight. And it'll turn into yogurt, but you have to strain it. How do you deal with hypothyroidism? TSH levels are high. I don't want to go on Synthroid. Should I take thyroid supplement? I feel fine. No symptoms. Again, make sure the diet and lifestyle factors are fixed. Organic, reducing Wi-Fi, EMF. Uh, but you could try a thyroid glandular. You don't necessarily have to like go with the, the conventional medication. We have those on organsupplements.com. Plant three. How old are you? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you plan to have children in the future? I'm pretty sure I answered this in the last Q&A, but I'm 30 years old now, and I feel old, mainly because I've never really gone out, had any fun. I've never had a girlfriend. Uh, and as much as I would like to have children, it's not even on the table. You know, that's something you think about when you meet someone you like and enjoy and can see having a family with. You know, all the issues I've had to deal with uh, in my business and my personal life have kind of made it so I, I can't really have anything normal. And the only time I ever started dating or trying that was right before, you know, the you know what nonsense started and that kind of shut everything down. So it's just whatever at this point. Yeah, I try to justify it by saying, you know, with the YouTube and the business stuff, I'm helping people improve their health. So that's, you know, a better use of my time in general. But I mean, if I knew I was going to have so much, you know, pushback and, and how all these evil people that run the world don't want people to be healthy, all the money stolen from me, I, pro I probably would have done something else. But uh, what's the saying? Like you dig the hole too deep and you can't get out. Uh, was it the lost cause fallacy? Like at one point, do you throw in the towel? But we'll see what happens. But thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you've, uh, you guys have enjoyed the Q&A. I know it's a lot of questions, but I, I pretty much answered every single thing that you guys asked me. And this was an incredible amount of work uh, to film, edit. I don't, I don't enjoy sp spending half my day doing this, guys. So if you could please just uh, like the video, leave a comment for me down below, support the channel frank but I will see you guys for tomorrow.